Hey guys, today we're replacing a print head or taking the print head out of uh, Workforce, Epson Workforce WF2650. There's similar models to it that use a 220 ink and that kind of look like this here. They usually are the ones that are WF um, printers that have the duplexer on the back. So if you have this tray up front, then this is going to be... Um, the replacement process of the print head. <clears throat> so we're going to start with, I already have the door, the front uh, cover, the top cover open. I'm going to go to setup and maintenance. I'm going to send the printer to replace ink cartridges because I want this, and we're going to press start. I want the carriage to be here in the opening or not locked in there. After it's uh, in there, I'm just going to unplug the printer and we're going to remove cartridges first. This is our print head in here. So what we're going to do is we have this moving freely now since we have the unlocked position. So first what we're going to do, we're going to take a flathead screwdriver and we need to remove this cover on the side. Okay, so uh, we're removing, not the side, sorry, we're removing this um, back, uh, basically the contacts area of the print for the ink cartridges. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to put a flathead screwdriver in here, like so. Here, let me sh I, I want to make sure I show it to you. It's not that hard. So you're going to put a, print, uh, a screwdriver in there. And you need to lift this unit up, like you saw before, uh, just now. And we're going to need to do the same thing here. And in this case, it just went up. So just pull it straight up. And you're going to have a connection on the back that you need to disconnect. So it's this here. Just carefully unwind the cord from around the plastic. And disconnect this cord. Then you need to remove this here. This piece is now removed easy. Just like that. Now we have exposed our print head and we have three screws that we need to remove. As you can see, there's two on top and one is gonna be down here below. So there's three screws. You're gonna take a Phillips screwdriver and do that with a Phillips screwdriver. I want to make sure I remove that one and then third screw a pair of these could be handy whenever you have small screws you're working with so we have three screws out and now we're going to use the same tool to bring it up you can just do it with your hands just going to go straight up Take it gently by the cord on this side and either by fingers or by some clamp tool and just bring it up. Then unplug <clears throat> this cord here like so. So now when you're gonna be putting a new one in or after you clean this one thoroughly, this is what it looks like on the bottom for this uh, model. You're just going to make sure you um, plug it back in the right way. I'm putting the same one in, just demonstrating how it goes back in, but it's really not that hard. Then you're going to make sure you put it back in without clamping any 
um, unnecessary wires there. It's going to go right over these things here. So when these pop out, you know that it's in place. And then you're going to put the screws back in. We have one screw in, then we're going to do the second one. Now our third one. Make sure you tighten them in there. Not too hard. Just make sure the print head doesn't swivel around. Okay. Now we're going to put this cover back. Like so. And then we're going to dis uh, connect this piece again. So this is how it goes. It was staying like this here. This is how it will be connected. And put it in here. So this is what it's going to look like right here. You have it around this hook here, and then the wire is going to go back in there. When you're doing this, don't pull too hard um, to avoid any damage. This is a little bit of a tricky part. <clears throat> so you're going to set it like this here, and just position it, and just take it down until it clamps in. So now we have the print head back in. We're going to turn the printer on to make sure we got it right. So now we're gonna, I already plugged in the printer. I'm gonna turn it on and give it some time to start up. So when the printer starts up and then um, it asks you for the uh, cartridges, go ahead and install those and you should be all good to go do the ink nozzle check if you were flushing your print head then um just make sure you you have some ink in the cartridges that you're putting in to not just maybe like 10 percent or 15 make sure they're at least 50 percent full and um you should be good to go um it should be it should be enough ink to just prime the print heads and you should get back to work on this printer um so now, as we can see, it's asking for the ink cartridges. I'm going to insert those, and um, basically our print head is now replaced. Uh, if you need to see the video of this or similar model being taken apart to get further into other parts, um, please check out our YouTube channel and search for this model, and you should be able to we have another video that shows how to take apart this printer. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel like this video if we were able to help you and have a wonderful day. Thank you.